Hi, this is James C2. Welcome back to our tutorials. Today's tutorial looks at quick campaigns. A quick campaign is used to send a single activity type to a list of contacts, leads or accounts in your system. The activity could be an email, it could be a series of phone calls out to each client, it could be letters, faxes or appointments. Quick campaigns are created from marketing lists within the CRM. So to navigate to your marketing lists, we go to the marketing area, find our lists and highlight the one we need. We already have a list created here. If you're interested in seeing how to create a marketing list or how they work, please refer to the video which is in our playlist. But once I've got my marketing list highlighted, I simply click the Create Quick Campaign icon at the top of the screen, which will open the Create a Quick Campaign wizard. The user simply needs to follow the steps in this to create their campaign. So. Click on next, I'll give my campaign a name, we'll call this C2 Reconnect Email. I hit next and I can then specify what type of activity I want to create. Is it phone calls, appointments, letters, faxes or emails? Well in this case it's emails and then I can assign who I want these activities to belong to. So who will the emails be sent from? I can specify it to be me, the person who's created the campaign. I can specify that I want the emails to come from the owners of the records. So it could be the account manager for each of those contacts that sends the email. Let's select that one. We could assign it to another user or team or we can add the activities to a queue. I want it to be the owners of the records that are included in a quick campaign and I also want email messages to be sent and the corresponding email activities to be closed. So I'll highlight that and click next. I can then start to build my email if I wish by entering a subject and the text of the email. Rather than doing that though I want to use one of the templates. So I'll highlight use template. I can then specify which template I want to use. I want to use the contact reconnect and select. If I want a quick preview of that template I could navigate out and go to my templates and view it from there but a very long way around and it's easier to simply click the link here. So we can see the title of our template, the description of it, the subject line for the email and the body text. We can see mail merge fields are being used, the ones highlighted in yellow. I'm happy with the template in its current form so I'll simply close that and click next. This gives me a quick summary of my campaign. If I click create that will create my new quick campaign. Now to view the campaign itself I can do that in the marketing area by going to quick campaigns and here is the quick campaign. Now we can see that this was sent to a total of 13 members, 13 of which were successful and the campaign is now complete which means all the emails have gone. If I want to see the activities, the emails connected with this campaign I can open up my campaign on the social wall of the campaign, here are all the emails going out. Because we're using email tracking tokens, I can also see the email tracking token for each of those emails. I open up the email activity, I can see who it was sent to. You can see the mail merge fields being used. So here's the Susan Burke, that's the mail merge field that populated the name. It's also got the owner of the record there, that's myself. We can see that there. I can also get to the contacts record here by simply clicking on the contact. And from the contacts record, I can see in three places that they included in this campaign, i.e. they received this email. I can see that firstly by going to activities and here's my email here. If I scroll down the screen I can see the last campaign date, i.e. today, that's the last time we created a campaign that this person was included in. Or if I look at the related items at the very top, click in there and go to activities and I filter it to show all activities. And here we are, here is the record of our email going out to this contact. So hopefully that's given you a good idea of how easy it is to create our campaigns. In this example we showed you how to create one using an email activity type, but we'll also show you how to do one with phone calls. So let's go to our marketing lists, we'll use the same list. Again I create quick campaign, so it opens my wizard, I click next. I'll give this a similar but slightly different name. I'll leave that as phone call. It's going to be me who is the owner of these activities, so I'll leave that highlighted as me. I hit next. I give it a subject. 
So this is a subject for each of the activities that's created. You'll notice that call from is a mandatory field, but it's greyed out. Now the reason for that is, on the last screen I specified that all the calls will be coming from me. If I had specified to be coming from the owner of the record, this would be greyed out because the campaign wizard controls who the call is coming from. Similarly, call to is greyed out because the marketing list controls who the call is going to, and the phone number is greyed out because that also comes from the marketing list. I can give it a description if I want. I expect these calls to take 15 minutes each, so I'll put that in as the duration. I hit next, there's my summary, hit create. And there we are, 13 phone call records created, none of which failed, and we can see all of the activities connected with our quick campaign. As a consequence of these 13 phone calls being created for me to do, if I go to my dashboard and I look at my activities, here we are, these are all the phone calls that I'm required to make. If I go to the list of contacts, I know this gentleman here was included in that campaign, so let's look at his record. And here we are, against his record, there is the requirement for the phone call to be made. Similarly, I can see that through the related activities, like we did with the email. Here we are, here's our phone call record, open, still to be made. If I open that, I can make my call. Once I've called this customer, I can take all my details and mark as complete. Hopefully that's given you an idea of how easy it is to create your quick campaigns, which provides a very easy, quick way to contact a large number of your subscribers. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it or subscribe to our channel. And if you'd be interested in any other further information, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thank you.